Hey, what's up everybody? Cranking out another video. This is gonna be my first EDC review video. And for those of you who don't know, that's basically just everyday carry, um, basically the, the items that I'll carry on my person. Generally, I'll carry all these things throughout the year, believe it or not, but obviously you're not gonna be able to rock this, you know, in shorts and a tank. So uh, weather dictates and where you're going dictates, things like that. I'll go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get into the eye candy. I know you guys are looking at this. It's a, a Taurus G2C 9 mil. And uh, I've had this thing for a little over a year now, put a pretty good amount of rounds through it, and I've yet to have a jam. It's 250 bucks online, comes with two 12 round magazines, and uh, I always keep it loaded with one in the chamber. So 12 and one in the pipe. Pretty nice, hard to beat for 250 bucks. Again, I'll typically carry uh, an extra mag on me because it comes with one, but if I'm not wearing boots or anything like that, I, I probably won't carry it, but typically I'll just stuff it down in my boot. Uh, moving on to the next item, you've got uh, this CYA appendix holster, and it's just got a uh, belt clip right there. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy there, but it's, uh, it's held up pretty well. I've had these uh, rivets loosen up here and there, but you can tighten them with a little Allen wrench, so... I just did that and it's worked just fine. Uh, I carry a simple leather Levi wallet, um, bifold. I don't really care for trifold much, personal opinion. My belt that I actually run my appendix holster on is a Timberland leather belt. It's just a simple leather belt. This thing has been pretty wonderful. I've had it for probably six months and uh, yeah, it's it's been sturdy. It holds the clip quite well on uh, this holster, so. I've just got a hat here just to kind of demonstrate, you know, I, I wear a hat when I'm out and about unless I'm trying to go to an event or something for business or work. This is actually made by Highland Tactical. They make some pretty good hats, apparently. Um, I, I bought this out of a random store, but um, I just wanted to give them a shout out because I love this hat. It's actually, I believe that's ripstop. It's kind of a ripstop material, um, but it's really breathable and uh, I enjoy it. It's got this really cool Velcro. Typically these are like rectangular or square, um, but I saw this one circular and it has the Punisher skull, so I had to have it and it's green, so it's just win all the way around for me. Love this hat. Uh, fancy, just kidding, El Cheapo watch. Got this for nothing at freaking Walmart, but it does its job well. And I think it's a little water resistant. Maybe not. I've just got a mask out because obvious reasons to how the world is. I, I carry one on me. I carry a pin on me and uh, in particularly these Sharpie pins are awesome. I know they've got a couple different models, but I love this pin and uh, I usually end up finding myself having to sign something or somebody else needs a pin. It's just nice to have. Moving on. This is... I haven't really had to use this much, but for peace of mind, if I ever had to repair a hole or something, I've got uh, some duct tape or if I ever needed to bind anything, it's probably about, I don't know how many feet of duct tape, but it's just a little spool of duct tape there. And then uh, I carry a little BC headache pouch. Um, I don't get headaches much, but if I did, I'd want to knock that out. And uh, for anyone around me that has a headache, it's just kind of a, a nice thing to have on you for them. Uh, moving on, I've got a little Kershaw knife, and I, I got this at Walmart for like, I want to say like 11 bucks, but it's been a great little knife. I got it for its size, and I also really like the point on it. It's been nice for digging and, and scraping and, and picking and stuff. It's actually not a bad little carving knife either, but um, mainly the size and the weight and that little clip, I really like that. Simple little Kershaw knife. This here is actually one of my favorite little EDC items. If you don't carry a flashlight on you, I recommend that you do. A lot of people think that, you know, you would have to have a big bulky flashlight, but truly you don't. You can look this up on Amazon, but uh, I believe it's pr pronounced uh, Hattori. I, I'm not entirely sure on that, but uh, this thing is great. I'll have to look up the specific specs. I'll probably put it in the description. I'll put a link to these things the best that I can in the description. I'm, I'm not used to doing that, but... I want to do the best reviews that I can for you guys, so I'll try that. Um, but this thing it has been great. It's super light. It's got a clip on it, and it runs off one AAA battery. I got it for 8 bucks on Amazon, so kind of hard to beat. I like to carry a Zippo lighter on me um, just because it's nice. I really, It's kind of like a, I've heard it been called the 
the old school man's fidget spinner. I guess I could relate to that. I really like just playing with this thing and also it's nice to have a lighter on you. Nice to have a windproof lighter on you. Um, and then obviously I have my set of keys. I've got a bunch of keys that I carry and I just carry them on a little steel carabiner. And then uh, typically, obviously not my pockets or whatever, but I'll carry around a water bottle. And uh, I got this one a month or two ago and I really like it. Um, I also got this from Walmart. I, I really like saving a penny here and there and uh, getting affordable gear. I'm not a huge brand name guy. I'll get a brand name thing, but uh, it, it has to be, has to really be something that I want. But anyway, uh, this is, it's spelled T-A-L. Um, I'm not entirely sure how uh, that's pronounced. I believe it's tall, but I got these stickers on it as well that I got off Amazon. Pretty sweet. I love these stickers. I got them off some little weird hunky dory company, but it turned out pretty great in my favor. And then that's the uh, Highland Tactical logo for that hat over there. I went ahead and slapped that on there to rep. Um, but yeah, I have it covered up, but it's T-A-L. There you go. T-A-L. And uh, I love the drinking port on this because I used to have an open mouth container to where obviously what I mean, well, what I mean by that is, is I'd have it open, but then when I'd go to drink it, you know, if you're going down the road or whatever, it splashes over in your mouth. So it's nice to have that little hole. Uh, uh, that little hole right there uh, to drink out of. And then uh, just an honorable mention, if I'm out and about, um, if I know that I'm gonna be chilling somewhere for a while, or I'm gonna be on a ride for a long time, I'll bring a book with me. And uh, this is my favorite book in the entire world. You could probably see this in like one of my previous videos maybe, but I've read this thing like a few times and uh, you can go ahead and check it out. I'm not gonna speak too crazily on it right now. I'll go into that forever, um, but it's by Eugene B. Sledge. It's a impeccable story, uh, memoir about uh, some battles in World War II. Check it out with the old breed. Um, yeah, guys, that's my EDC. Like I said, I wanted to keep this short and sweet and just kind of go through these items. I'll do some more videos later down the line, probably more, um, I guess, detailed reviews about some of these items that I've gone over, um, especially this here, show some footage shooting with it, kind of show uh, me using this light a little bit and the knife and different things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.